back down. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2017 Concordia Athletics uh, Hall of Fame induction and dinner. What a special night, uh, for not only for our four inductees, but also for Concordia Athletics as a whole. On September 1st, uh, Concordia got the, the news that we are going to be, we are full-fledged members of the NCAA Division II. weekend where we officially celebrate that great news and what a, a great way I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate that to kick it off than to celebrate the foundation that we had in, uh, that built what we've got going on here uh, in division two where the department is today it's because of the hard work and the accomplishments of all the Cavaliers that are in this room your results on the field of competition, uh, in the classroom, and the community made Concordia University Portland attractive to the NCAA in Division II. So on behalf of uh, Concordia Athletics, our student athletes, our coaches, our staff, thank you for building that foundation and for all you do to continue to support the Cavaliers. Well, uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's quite an honor for me tonight. Uh, <laughs> I, I spent two years here playing and got my degree here, and I've been back for 17 years uh, working in the foundation. But uh, to be honored like this when you start to play a sport at the early age of fourth, fifth grade, you never thought you would get to this this journey in life where you get recognized for your accomplishments on the court. And I, I really am looking forward to tonight and meeting some of the other uh, Hall of Fame members. and. Uh, uh, I will definitely be coming back every time we do this event because it's, it means a lot to me. Well, uh, coming in, uh, the number one reason I came to Concordia uh, after my sophomore year was to play basketball. And three weeks into uh, going to school here, my coach asked me, what do you want to be? And I really hadn't given that much thought. And I became a, a school teacher and a coach for many years. And then I did some other things. But number one, it gave me focus on my life. Uh, probably the biggest thing is I met my wife here at Concordia. She was a basketball player, and we've been together for over 36 years. We got three kids, um, but you know I was raised in a faith-based home, a Lutheran home, and uh, uh, we had a great time at Concordia with uh, the spiritual aspect and the physical aspect, and it just all came together along with the academics. And uh, to be able to do all three of those at the university. And, um, and learn and have some dear, dear friends. I, my college coach is coming back tonight, my assistant coach, and a couple guards that I played with. Um, it, it means a lot. It's all about the relationships we build. And, and uh, it's just, it, it was a good two years. And my teammates, we look back on them, and sometimes we don't realize how fortunate we had it mm -hmm. as a student athlete at Concordia. And uh, until we get a little older and we really appreciate the little things and Concordia always helped with uh, not only the big things, but all the little things too to help you grow up. So uh, it's for me, that makes it quite an honor to be in the Hall of Fame and uh, to be, especially being in this class of 2017, uh, Misty and Mandy were unbelievable uh, student athletes and then also with Joel, Dr. Joel Schulteis. So uh, pretty honored just to be in that class alone. Well, thanks, Joe. It's uh, it's really great. I appreciate uh, all the work that you've done for uh, organizing tonight. But it's a really special night for uh, my family, and uh, and uh, Concordia is a special place for me. So I'm uh, really honored. Well, I uh, look back. You know, the first time I stepped on campus was when I was in second grade, and my brothers were playing football here. But uh, things have changed, and a lot of great uh, opportunities to to serve our student athletes. And so it's been a it's been a blessing to be a part of many of those changes. And uh, most recently, obviously, making the making the jump to, to D2, and there's been a lot of people that have just worked really hard to make that happen, and so I'm very excited to uh, to still be around and be a small part of that from uh, from the exercise science perspective, from across the across the hall, so to speak. But, you know, exercise science is really kind of just a, a dream for me to involve the academics, but still be involved with sports and. So we're looking at the training, we're looking at the performance, you know, and we have a number of students that are going on into pre-athletic training or pre-physical therapy uh, degrees. And, and in fact, one of our 
uh, athletes uh, that uh, Lindsey Magnin just you know graduated uh, from PT school last year, and it's examples like that that just really are exciting to see on the academic side that we can prepare our students for careers or going on to graduate school. Well, it feels great, Joe. Thanks. Yeah, so I was at Concordia from 99 playing volleyball until 2002, and it was a wonderful time as far as volleyball goes for my life. I had been pretty low before that, not super enthusiastic, yeah. and got to Concordia and working with Joe Hauk and the rest of the team really got me more motivated for volleyball and it turned out to be just a fantastic experience. Um, yeah, for sure, I um, the academic atmosphere was tremendously supportive, especially being an athlete. So I had um, professors asking daily about how things would go. If um, I was pulled away from class or trips, they were completely understanding and willing to help me out. Uh, it was just a really, really good experience and I mean really uh, allowed me to get where I needed to get professionally too. So it was it was great. Well, I'm a little overwhelmed. I am excited. I'm very honored and Concordia felt like a family to me. Being away in Colorado and then coming here and not having any family, I felt like Concordia was my family. So it's nice to come back home a little bit. Well, it's changed me as a person. You go from being 18 years old, leaving your family, and you come out here 21 hours away and you're by yourself. And so your team, your coaches, the faculty become your family. So it changed me for the best. So I'm more independent. And if anything, I'll teach my kids the same thing. Go away to college, become independent. No. Well, he's paved the way for my future. He taught me what perseverance was. He taught me to never give up. He was the person there that could look at us and be like, hey, you guys don't need to practice today. You need to go study for your finals. Get out of here. He was more than a coach. He was a mentor to us and to me.